Oh, hi, friends. Stock South with you, and uh, the, the um, I don't know. I the other day. Oh, actually, it's about a month ago now. I don't think I've shown you these. Uh, Sandy presented me with two rather nice gifts. <clears throat> One's in the in the laundry right now, getting washed. The other one I'll wear today at work. Uh, here, my uh, introducing my face mask. Again, she made these when all, you know, when everything broke loose and they were saying how people should wear masks. And uh, I had a regular surgical mask, but I got to say, I like this one better. Uh, it's uh, it's multi, uh, multi-layered. It's an old bandana and she somehow on, I guess on the web, found a way you can fold them into a, a perfectly good, very strong surgical uh, or, you know, a, a corona-proof uh, mask. At least... So far, it's been uh, coronavirus proof. And see, it's got that. Do you see uh, in the light there? Maybe it'll be better. You can see it's got like thread right through there. So, it, uh, yeah, it kind of looks like a little toothless smile. <laughs> or a grin, anyway. Sort of like the Grinch. I kind of, Anyway, I love it. I, I'm, I, long after all this has passed, I think I'll still wear this to stay warm in the winter. You know? I'm very, very, uh, very nice of Sandy to do this. <sighs> so, so here we are, everybody running around wearing masks and stuff, which, frankly, I look at it this way. When I, when I did rescue work, I know every now and then I'd be asked to uh, go watch an operation. And uh, believe it or not, all the surgeons and everyone in the uh, operating room do wear masks. So somehow these must stop something from uh, passing from person to person, either the illness from the patient to the doctor and his staff, or from the doctor to the patient, or most likely both. So even though on a day when it's 90 degrees out, <laughs> this is a little tough to wear, uh, it, I, I guess it ain't a bad idea. Uh, I know there's a lot of folks who have, uh, what would you call it, uh, uh, well, where they're having trouble already with breathing, you know, some kind of lung ailment and all, and that, that's kind of tough on them. But have you noticed, too, how you're starting to recognize people uh, through the mask by looking at their eyes and stuff? In a way, you almost have to make eye contact talking with a person with a mask on, and I, I'm finding this eye contact thing pretty cool. Yeah. The only thing is, one of my friends fooled me the other day. One of my oldest friends, uh, Ralph, uh, who I've known since high school uh, and has always been a good friend of mine, he comes strutting down my uh, the, the frozen food case I was working in, and he looks at me. He's got his mask on, one much like this. He says, well, ain't you the, ain't you the world famous Doc South? He says, doggone, let me look. Yeah, sir, you are. And... Uh, and I had no idea who this guy was. I said, well, yeah, I'm Doc South. I'm working here right now. But yeah, yeah, I am. Th nice of you to, you know, and all that. And then all of a sudden, Ralph just drops the mask a little bit to show me it's actually him. I said, well, doggone Ralph, you had me fooled. <laughs> and uh, he, uh, he thought that was a hoot. Um, and he did. I had no clue. Uh, but again, I see so many people in that in that market, and I was busy trying to get the string beans onto the frozen food shelf. Uh, you, you have to get them on quick, or you could lose an arm. <laughs> People reaching for them. So it's, uh, so all in all, uh, I don't know. I, uh, he and I were both talking. Ralph has done, uh, did a lot of, uh, he works with an ambulance company. He's kind of laid off because he, like me, he's no spring chicken, and they didn't want to take a chance with him getting ill. But he's uh, normally he he uh, drives uh, uh, basically ambulances and uh, and gets people from their home to a doctor's office that kind of thing. I think he did a lot of nursing home work too. So he's uh, yeah he's kind of yeah on the sideline, being like me, he's older than dirt. So all in all, everything's going pretty cool. I hope. Uh, all this uh, winds up. Well, you know, the one thing, real quick, I, I do hope all this winds up and goes away. I don't know when it will, though. Boy, it sure is a tricky disease. But I'm surprised in a way that people haven't come up with uh, some really wild designs on their uh, on their uh, particular mask. 
I'm kind of surprised about that. You think, I know so far about all I've seen, and I've looked at a lot of masks, is the uh, there's usually like a little mouth. Now, it's not a hole in the mask, but it looks like a mouth. And that's kind of nice. And I guess you could, you could probably do all sorts of things. I mean, you could put a dog face, a gorilla face on the bottom. Uh, all in all, I think we could have a lot of fun with uh, a, a bad situation, uh, get a, a little bit more creative on the masks. A lot of people wear just a bandana like this, and it, you know, like, like if you're going to go in to rob a bank, you know, in the Old West, that kind of thing. And they work good too. So, but I do like this one. Oh, my gosh. Let's make this a Lord's Prayer moment. Uh, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Amen. So be it. Ah. See, God, uh, check, they're, they're probably on the screens up in heaven saying, who's saying that Lord's Prayer there? God, I can't recognize him. Who is that guy? <laughs> I think God sees right through the mask. <laughs> I think he does. No problem there. Okay, well, friends, I'll see you later. Oh, Got to go off to work now. See you. Bye-bye now. God bless.